Saint Joseph, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Daily Novena Prayer Saint Joseph, you are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that we have confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, we come to you as an example for holiness for you are especially close with God. Therefore, we humbly commend ourselves with all who are dear to us and all that belong to us to your intercession. We beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon us during life and to assist us at the hour of our death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for us a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be our guide, our father, and our model through life, that we may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Day two, Saint Joseph, virginal husband of the Blessed Mother. Prayer of Pope Saint John the Twenty Third. O Saint Joseph, guardian of Jesus and chaste husband of Mary, you passed your life in loving fulfillment of duty, sustaining the Holy Family of Nazareth with the work of your hands. Kindly protect those who with total trust now come to you. You know their aspirations, their sorrows, and their hopes. They come to you because they know you will understand and protect them. You too knew trial, labor, and weariness. But even in the midst of the worries of material life, your soul was filled with profound peace. 
and it exulted in true joy through intimacy with the Son of God, who was entrusted to you, and with Mary, his most sweet mother. May those whom you protect be assured that they do not toil alone. Teach them how to discover Jesus at their side, to receive him with grace, and to watch over him faithfully as you have done. Amen. Prayer of St. John Paul II St. Joseph, with you, for you, we bless the Lord. He chose you among all men to be the chaste spouse of Mary, the one who would remain at the threshold of the mystery of her divine maternity, and who, after her, would accept it in faith as the work of the Holy Spirit. You gave Jesus legal paternity in the line of David. You constantly watched over the mother and the child with an affectionate concern in order to protect their lives and to allow them to accomplish their destiny. The Savior, Jesus, deigned to submit himself to you as to a father throughout his childhood and adolescence and to receive from you an apprenticeship in human life while you shared his life in the adoration of his mystery. You remain at his side. Continue to protect the whole church, the family born of the salvation of Jesus. See the spiritual and material needs of all those who beg your intercession, particularly families and those who are poor in every sense. Through you, they are certain to find Mary's maternal face and the hand of Jesus to assist them. Amen. Joseph, do not be afraid to take to you, Mary, your wife. And then we hear, Joseph did as the angel of the Lord directed him. And when our Lord remained in the temple and was lost for those days, when they finally found him there, the Blessed Mother said, Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. And so even Mary is acknowledging now Joseph as husband and head of the Holy Family. Imagine the purity of Saint Joseph, the virginal purity of Saint Joseph. The Blessed Virgin Mary conceived without sin from the moment of conception, the singular privilege of an immaculate heart, an immaculate conception. What purity of heart Saint Joseph must have had to be the chaste spouse of the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Our Lord teaches us, blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. It was Saint Joseph who more than anyone else in purity of heart was able to see God. Joseph obeyed God and God obeyed Joseph. Jesus Christ, true God and true man, obeyed his foster father Saint Joseph. Who can climb the mountain of the Lord? Who can stand in his holy place? Climbing and standing. Climbing is the active life, the life of, the life of work and diligence. Who can stand in the presence of God? The contemplative life. 
And then the psalmist answers us, the one with clean hands and pure heart. Joseph had the clean hands. The clean hands represent the exterior work of Saint Joseph the carpenter. And the pure heart, the interior life, the silent life, the purification of one's heart to continue to contemplate, uh, to see Christ. In your light, we see light. To contemplate the face of God in the child Jesus. To be aware of God's holy presence with the mother of God, with the child Jesus in the normalest of all circumstances. So let us pray that during these days of impurity and the disintegration of the family and rampant divorce, that St. Joseph, with his pure heart and his virginal chastity, will obtain the graces we need uh, to be holy, to be chaste, to be pure of heart. Let us pray. O glorious Saint Joseph, virginal husband of the Blessed Mother, give us the grace today and every day to remain pure of heart, to overcome all temptations against purity, so that we may develop a contemplative vision, that we may see and understand and be more aware of the holy presence of God in all of our daily duties, that we will grow in a more tender love for the Blessed Virgin Mary and for the Lord Jesus Christ, for the glory of God, the edification of the church and the salvation of souls. Amen.
The Seven Privileges of Devotion to St. Joseph by Venerable Mary of Agreda. Intercessory Prayers Lord, grant us the grace to overcome the sensual inclinations of the flesh and to grow in purity. Saint Joseph, most chaste, pray for us. Lord, we pray for the grace to always choose what is right, to avoid sin, and to foster friendship with you. Saint Joseph, most prudent, pray for us. Lord, we pray for the health of the body and assistance in all kinds of difficulties. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick, pray for us. Lord, we pray for an increase in love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Saint Joseph, chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Lord, we pray for the grace of a peaceful death and protection against demons in our last moments. Saint Joseph, patron of the dying, pray for us. Lord, we pray for all who struggle with parenthood, marital problems, and discord in families. Saint Joseph, pillar of families, pray for us. Lord, may we call upon your foster father in our spiritual battles and experience his powerful fatherly protection. Saint Joseph, terror of demons, pray for us. O loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, we raise our hearts to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace we now implore. Guardian of the Word incarnate, we feel confident that your prayers on our behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. O glorious Saint Joseph, through the love you bear to Jesus Christ and for the glory of his name, hear our prayers and obtain our petitions. Amen. Litany of Saint Joseph Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph, most courageous, pray for us. Joseph, 
most obedient, pray for us. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in thine ineffable providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant, we beseech you, that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven. Amen. Grant, O Lord, we beseech you, that these your servants may enjoy continual health of body and soul through the glorious intercession of St. Joseph, the guardian of our Redeemer, be freed from their present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness. Amen. The Memorari to St. Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our sweet protector, St. Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. With solid confidence, therefore, in your goodness, we come before you and humbly implore you. Do not turn a deaf ear to our petitions 
O foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive and answer them. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord Jesus Christ be with you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to lead you, behind you to guide you, above you to bless you, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you always. Amen.